Discord updated their shop with new items and made it available to everyone. Uploaded images on Discord are looking awful, but I have a fix. Some awesome new Vencord plugins and a bunch of beta features. This is your weekly Discord news recap narrated by a thrice divorced basement dwelling beta male Discord degenerate. Everyone grab your parents' credit card and plunge them further into debt because Discord updated their shop and it's now available to everyone. Now they made a blog post about it, but I hate reading. Well, I actually can't read, but if you don't have Discord Nitro and you open up Discord, you will get this pop-up telling you to look at Discord. Discord shop with this fancy UI, where you get to pick avatar decorations and profile effects just to make you try and spend your parents' money on Discord. Who needs electricity when you have a Discord avatar effect? Now, if you go to Discord shop, you will notice that you have new items to purchase. You have a couple of new avatar decorations, which some of them are uh, pretty mid, some of them are really cool, like the snow globe. And down below, we have two new profile effects, lights, and a snowman. Now, I hate Michael transactions and pointless consumerism, but there is one good thing about this update that I really want to point out. It's the fact that these profile effects are fine dollars without Nitro, which is a whole heck of a lot better than Discord's old profile effects, which cost $12. But everything in this winter collection is $5, and it's a pretty good price, but eggnog is also $5, and I'd suck toes for some eggnog, and I know what I'm spending my money on. Toenail cleaning kits. But that's not all this shop of poor financial decisions has in store, because Discord is developing a new feature that will change the way you interact with your Discord e-girls. Because if I scroll down, there's an experiment which allows you to gift shop items. Yes, if you click on this gift button, you can send anyone an avatar decoration, or you can send anyone a profile effect. It's up to you. Discord just wants you to spend your money. And when you try sending a gift, you get this new gift UI, which you might have seen before if you stay up to date on Discord news, but it allows you to add sound effects and emoji confetti when you send this gift to one of your friends. And one little final treat for me before I leave this shop forever is that if you have Discord Nitro and you scroll down to the very bottom, you now have two profile effects that you can get for, for well, not for free, but if you have Nitro, you can get the them. You can unlock with Nitro, okay? Now before we talk about Discord's awful image quality, I do want to point out that if you do have Nitro, look in your gift inventory because you get one month of mid-journey for free. Now this is the basic plan where you get 3.3 hours of fast GPU time, whatever that means. But when you click on claim or C code, it'll pop up with this code and you can redeem it in mid-journey where you need to link your account and you do need to provide valid payment information. There is one good thing about this. It's the fact that the subscription will not automatically renew. I'm not going to use this code. Someone's going to use Use it, go for it, gamer. Now, as someone that sends my friends 4K high quality images of Bowser's 34th rule, I've noticed recently that Discord image quality is absolute garbage. And in fact, there's this r slash Discord app post where they talk about Discord's image compression because Discord did an update that ruined everything. That's a given at this point. But you can see they have a beautiful diagram on how Discord's compression looks. We have hello on the left and we have Discord's compressed hello on the right. Now, this compression can be a big pain in the rear end if you're sending screenshots of your game or sending art, but for for me personally, it is a massive pain in the rear ends when I try sending the hitman my newborn child. As you can see, this image does not look very good. Uh, around the arms, we can see a lot of blocky compression, and we can see that there is absolutely no skin texture. It's hard to tell which baby is which in this day and age, and my acquaintance needs as much detail and help as possible. Well, gamers, there is a fix to this. It's called Vencord, baby. Now, I have a whole entire video on Vencord. I'll have a little YouTube card doohickety doo that allows you to get, like, free Nitro perks. But they added a new plugin called fixed images quality. And this bad boy is a game changer. This is how the original image looks without this plugin. And when you add this plugin, it looks like this. So let me flick between them real quick. You can see that there are a lot of details that just magically appear out of nowhere. Mainly the skin texture and there's no blockiness in the shadows. However, I do want to point out that this plugin only works on your computer. So if you turn on this plugin and you send an image, it won't just magically fix it for everyone else. And you know what? Since we're talking about Vencord anyways, I might as well tell you about a new plugin that they have, and it looks like this. You can see my Discord doesn't look like garbage anymore. It's a lot darker. In fact, this new plugin is called Client Theme, and what it does is it brings back that old Discord experiment which allowed you to change the color of your Discord app to whatever the heck you want. Do you want it to be white? This is hands down the most overpowered light mode on the planet. I actually cannot read anything on my screen. <laughs> but if you're a sane human being, a lot of these themes look absolutely gorgeous. And remember, you can customize it however the heck you want. This is also awful. Now this next bit of news is for the gamers at home that watch my videos religiously, as if I'm a cult leader. I am. But it's regarding the Mushroom Bot and the Double Counter Bot, which I made videos on before. For the Mushroom Bot, they made an announcement and it seems like they're going under. Mushroom.gg will be closed on November 30th. And they did make a comment about the potential data exposure, and they said that they complied with all legal obligations, but I really think they probably should have let their users know. But I guess that doesn't really matter anymore because Mushroom is dying today. And an update on the Double Counter 
situation regarding their controversial lens feature, which is a little bit of a privacy issue, I'm happy to announce that Nathan, the owner of Double Counter, is committed to developing an opt-out feature. I want to see it in action before I make some concrete opinions, but this is a good step in the right direction. But there is still the argument of people complaining about you getting banned on every single Double Counter server if you request to delete your data. Stepping away from the gossip, let's look at Discord's new experimental features. Now, just to preface this new experiment, I want to point out that slash commands are a lot faster because Discord made a good update. Now let's look at a bad update. In fact, this is the experiment app launcher for desktop and when you enable this experiment, you get a new button on your chat bar and poor little chat bar being cluttered with every single icon on the planet. Discord, maybe put this button in this little menu you made. But this is the app launcher for desktop and when you open it up, it shows you your recent slash commands and it shows you the bots you can use to run commands. So if I click on counter, it will pop up this menu here and if you zoom out, it looks a little bit different. It shows up on the right, but it shows you all the commands you can use with this bot. It is basically this menu here, the slash command menu, with a little bit more pizzazz. And I can already tell you people are going to hate this feature because there's another icon on your chat bar, and also these are inconsistently sized. It's a beta feature. Things will change. Now I almost forgot, well I actually did forget and I had to put this in later, but Discord previews made a screenshot of how the app launcher looks on mobile, which is even more worse. You could have like these big options, and <laughs> there's a reason why I don't talk about Discord mobile. That thing is that thing's going through a lot right now, okay? But this new app launcher is a great way for me to segue into the next thing I'm going to talk about, experiment changes. And the first one is talking not about server apps, but about user apps. In the past news video, I talked about AdVaith making a tweet where Discord was including self-bots, and I'm happy to announce that Discord finally has a user apps FAQ. The user apps experiment is currently only available to a limited number of users. And unfortunately for all of us Discord nerds that like these experimental features, there are no screenshots whatsoever. So I have to use my imagination, which doesn't exist because I watch too much TikTok. Oh, look at the time. I got to pick up my non-existent girlfriend in 10 minutes. It's time for me to rapid fire the rest of these experiment changes. Polls on desktop finally allow you to add images directly, but you still can't use this feature because it's in development. And the hang statuses feature now has a different menu. If I click on customize activity, it looks like this, which is oh, so much more beautiful. If you try applying it though, it does absolutely nothing because my brain's too small to figure out how to use this. And finally, the most divine experiment change of them all, the favorites feature feature now has a V2, which theory crafting here might mean they make it available for everyone, which would be pretty cool. Basically, when you turn it on, it allows you to favorite channels and DMs. And what it does is it creates this little icon on the top left. And when you open it up, you can see all of those channels that you favorited are now available for you to quickly go through and see if there's any notifications. But this V2 of the favorites tab just changes how the icons look, which honestly, they look great. Anyways, that is your Discord news recap from an overweight balding guy in his 20s. Gamers, work out every day. Don't follow in my footsteps. Bye-bye. I love you. Mwah.